Oh my god, so another day of rain, another day of bliss for yours truly because I love the rain. But in any case, this, uh, I can't believe it. They're actually saying that we're out of drought and I'm thinking for getting three or four days of rain a couple weeks ago. But hey, you know, if it's true, I'll take it. I'm just very, very surprised because it seems to me other years we've had more rain and we still didn't get out of the drought. So it must be some really heavy rain. And I know the drops are big and thick and fat. But what I wanted to tell you about today was the craziest thing. Like Southern California, because I live in Los Angeles, in case some of you don't know or if I haven't mentioned it before in some of my videos. Although I'm, no, I've mentioned it, but not that I expect everybody to watch all of my videos because you're so engrossed and enthralled and because I'm the only video maker on YouTube worth watching. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so today I'm walking up the stairs to my office and all of a sudden I'm blind. Like I just can't see for one second. And it's just like this flash and I don't see any outlines of things, nothing. And then I hear this big rumbling up above and it kind of vibrates the shit out of shit. Why am I swearing? I don't know. Just for emphasis. I'm not normally a potty mouth or such one. But anyway, so I'm coming up the stairs and it was like really freaky. It reminded me of the end of, I think the second or third season of Lost. No, it'll be, no, the second season of Lost when they failed to put the code into the hatch. <laughs> this is what's happening. Some of you failed to put the code in before because I have not seen thunder and lightning like this in so long and I've certainly never been blinded for a split second by lightning. So that was really weird and really freaky and at first I thought, oh my god, am I walking too fast? Did I get like a traffic ticket and somebody flashed a picture of me for walking too fast? I mean, that was my first weird thought because that happened to me like to my friend a couple months ago when we were driving and just all of a sudden we saw this flash and he was like, oh no, I'm going to get a ticket. Actually, I never found out if he got that ticket or not. But anyway, so that was really weird and this is just the kind of day where you totally want to just drink tea, look out the window and fortunately for me, I see this view outside my window and talk about ghost towns and ghost stories. <laughs> okay, so talking about ghost towns, this ghost town called Mentryville is in Southern California. It's right near Santa Clarita, near where they film Melrose Place. <laughs> Melrose Place. That's always what I think of when I think of Santa Clarita, but it's just up just north a little bit of ways and my friend went up there for a leg appointment well it was actually a leg doctor appointment but I couldn't help imagining her talking to a big giant leg in a, in a doctor's uh, jacket <laughs> I imagine it is, is a Salvador Dali painting I don't know just really weird and avant-garde of a big leg <laughs> of a big leg talking to my friend in the doctor's office about her leg how circuitously weird and avant-garde can you get? But anyway, it would be maybe a wilted leg, like a wilted clock. But anyway. So anyway, I guess the only good leg doctor was up in Mentryville. Not that we have any in Los Angeles. I've heard we have no good leg doctors in Los Angeles. I'm just kidding, sort of. But actually, this was a really cool thing that she posted on Facebook. And she says the tiny ghost town of Metriville is a hidden gem very close to LA. I happened to be nearby during the last downpour. Oh, the last downpour, which was probably about two weeks ago, and swung by. The rain made the town that much more hauntingly cool. Just like the rain's making it more hauntingly cool in LA today. Though sadly, maybe worse for wear. If you get a chance, check it out. It's got an interesting history, and luckily it is preserved as a historic landmark. It's tiny and quick, and you can walk around and even peer in windows. So these were some of the pictures she took and that's undoubtedly from a window because I doubt anyone invited her over to their abandoned house. Um, but then she had two more which I thought were really 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 interesting. So this is the first one and it's an orb. Now I know enough about photography to know that sometimes things can reflect off the lens but this is really interesting in that it's way bigger and that it's purple. It almost reminds me of Prince. Purple rain, purple rain. Because it was raining that day and it's purple. But I don't know what Prince would be doing in Mentryville unless he wanted to check out the sites of an old mining town. Actually, no, I think it was an oil drilling town, but that's mining for oil even still. And then there was this orb too. 
It's just fascinating. It just looks very strategically placed, like Prince's hand is reaching out for the newel post to go up the stairs. But regardless, it's just really interesting. It's an old oil drilling town. Um, there's just not a lot of stuff going on up there, but now it just kind of makes me want to go take a tour. I wish, ooh, I think that was thunder. Something's rumbling the building. And generally trucks don't do all that. I was hoping we'd get some thunder while I was making this video, but I guess not. But anyway, I just thought it was really, really interesting and creepy and just makes you want to go. But that's about it. All right. So if you're in California or LA or any place that's raining, happy rainy day. If you're in any place that's too cold, please stay warm. And if you're in any place that's a regular temperature, well, more power to you. <laughs> All right. That's about it. Peace out.